Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is JJ. Today I have another 1 to 18 scale model to show you guys. This is a die cast model made by AutoArt. Yep, as you guys have already figured out, since this is a die cast model, this car has been made by AutoArt some years ago. I have it in my collection for quite a lot of years now. I actually bought it together with another rally car, which I will also show to you guys in my upcoming video. So this 1 to 18 scaled die cast Subaru Impressa made by AutoArt has now been discontinued. So I'm not sure if you guys will still be able to find this model car from online. Um, if you do, I don't know you know what's the condition is going to be but if you do like the Subaru Impressor rally cars then I think not so long ago AutoArt has also released a couple of the blue Subaru Impressor uh, model cars as well um, but those two cars features different livery and also the alloy wheels are slightly different this one, you can see it has the traditional Impressa alloy wheels in gold and around the car body, you will also see the traditional Subaru logo as the livery, which are pretty nice. Nowadays, you don't find this livery on the Subaru Impressa anymore. They don't even do the 555 livery, they just have the similar S looking shape for some reason. I guess they struggle to get the full license um, with that specific company. But nevertheless, this one is the original Subaru Impressa with the official Subaru livery. So I hope you guys like the look of this Impressa. I personally really like it. I like the metallic blue paint on the body. You can see the glittering effects as well. The contrast between the metallic blue, the yellow livery and the gold wheels look really nice. And you could also see there are red safety harnesses inside the car as well. And it goes all the way from the bucket seat to the roll cage as well. And this whole car is actually quite detailed. But then again, everyone would expect the same thing from AutoArt. Especially this is the older generation die cast model as well. So let me stop the spinning top. And then we can have a proper look at the model car as well. Okay, so let's take a look from the underside. So as I mentioned, this is a die cast model. So there's some weight to it. So the underside, although it looks like there isn't much on show, but I can tell you, AutoArt has replicated the rally car, just like the real car. So it does have the, the massive skid plate on the underside to protect the components on the underside of the Subaru. Same as the rear side as well. So you can see this model is made by AutoArt. It is a 1 to 18 scale Subaru Impressor and it is crafted in China. Here underneath the skid plate, we actually have all of those details from the front suspension system to the steering column, as well as the differential housing and suspension as well. Even though this Super Impressor model by AutoArt doesn't actually have 
suspension travel. It is rigid, but Ottoart have installed a real coil for each of the wheels. They all have their own suspension coil, but just that the suspension doesn't work. So you can see the suspension detail and the steering column, the back of the brake disc and brake caliper as well. And then you have the dry shaft connecting the front to the rear. And you also have the exhaust pipe running from the bottom of the engine all the way to the rear. And you have the exhaust right at the end. And then on top of the sump guard, you can see the rear differential housing as well as the anti-roll bar and all the other good details as well so everything is there and as I mentioned they all have their suspension coil as well So even though it looks pretty basic, everything is there. So now let's start to take a look from the front. So you have the very iconic super Impressa front. You have a nice Subaru logo and also have the S6 SRT number plate. The mesh is actually printed on a semi transparent piece of plastic, both upper grille as well as the lower grille. So you can kind of see through to the underside as well. And right above the Subaru logo, you can see the bonnet release button as well, which is nice. The headlights are pretty nice as well, very detailed. And you can see the, the sponsor sticker as well. And then the front bumper, which is done really nicely with the STI fog lights which has been covered and you can see the Pirelli logo as well above the indicator even the indicator they are very very detailed as well and the color for the indicator is perfect and then you have another air inlet on both sides next to the fog light and there is another sponsor the Robin livery on the side of the bump front bumper now coming to the bonnet there is a large official Subaru logo as well as well as the 1999 Rally Monte Carlo sticker and it also have the car racing number, number five, World Rally, which matches the side of the sticker. And at the bottom of the bonnet, you also see the locking pins. They are done nicely as well. And then you have the air scoop, as well as two air vent for the engine bay which are perforated you can see right through to the engine and then you have the windscreen washer jet there as well as well as some warning stickers on the bonnet 
Now looking at the windscreen, you can see at the bottom of the windscreen there are two windscreen wiper which are fairly detailed. The windscreen is pretty clear. It also has a black surrounding as well. And on the sun visor area, you can see the Subaru logo as well. And then on top, on the roof, you can see there are two additional air vents. You can press to shut this as well. And there is another sticker, number two there. And then you have this flexible antenna. And then the official rating number, number five. Look at the paintwork. So nicely done. And it's, it is a very, very nice color. Coming to the rear window. Again, you can see the Subaru logo. And here you can also see the heating elements for the rear windscreen, as well as the Rally Monte Carlo sticker. And again, the rear window is has a black surrounding as well. And then coming to the rear, you have the big spoiler. And you can see there are a lot of sponsor by a different company. So you have Hella, Kenwood, Sparkle, Bill Stein, Suspension and the rest. The spoiler is made out of plastic, I believe. So this whole spoiler is not die cast. Now coming back to the front, let's take a look at the wheels. So you can see the gold alloy wheel that is done really, really nicely. The color is also very nice. You can see the five locking nuts. The wheel itself, as I said, this is done really, really nicely. Although it doesn't have the valve cap, but it's still pretty nice. And you can see on the top of the tire, it's, it's printed Pirelli, which is nice. The tire tread is pretty nice as well. Now if you look through the gold alloy wheel, you will also see the brake disc, which spin with the wheel. Very nice. And there is also a silver color brake caliper by AP Racing, as you can see on the logo. It's done really nicely. And then behind the wheel, you have the mud flap or mud guard. Pretty nice. And then you have more sponsor livery and then the side indicator which is a separate piece of plastic now coming to the door you have the official rally monte carlo racing number five it's a very detailed sticker and then you have the very big subaru logo obviously the side window it is there so it is not without the glass even the plastic window is quite clear as well you can see right through to the bucket seat and you have this rally style rear side, side view mirror
and there is also a nice reflective sticker on the other side of the mirror as well and then the rear window you can see the racing driver's surname the uk flag and the subaru logo and again this rear quarter window has a thick black surrounding as well the rear wheel is similar to the front it has the Pirelli logo on the tire wall and it also has a very nice brake disc and brake caliper by AP Racing and here if you look right behind the brake disc you can actually see the suspension coil as well and you could also see it behind the front wheel as well right behind the brake disc and also behind the rear wheel you also have the mud guard and then there's another robin sticker on the side of the rear bumper the rear brake lights is fairly good the rear bumper you have the pre rally sticker on each side and the s6 srt number plate as well and also the big official subaru sticker on the rear trunk and you also have the the locking coil as well and here if you take a look at the rear exhaust again you can also see the the muffler as well as well as all the other details of the rear axle on the right hand side is pretty much exactly the same as the left hand side now let's take a look at the under bonnet so you just lift this up and you can see the bonnet has two hinges one on each side they are relatively small comparing to the standard Burago dog legs those are really big but these ones are pretty small and this is more acceptable now you can see the engine the engine block doesn't go all the way this is only half showing but you can see the boxer engine with all the pipework ducking the manifold and at the back you can see there are some reservoir some cabling and here at the front you have another reservoir and a red cap on the side which is done really nicely it just stands out and it draw you into the red area the top side of the engine bay cover also has a separate piece of molded plastic in blue to add the extra detail it's pretty cool I mean the 
engine details is not as good as nowadays Ottawa's engine bay, but it is still pretty good. And you can tell straight away that is the boxer engine. Now let's take a look at the rear trunk. Again, you just lift this up and you can see there are two hinges similar to the front. And this Subaru doesn't carry the spare wheel at the back. So you can see it is empty, but you can see the orange color harnesses for holding the the spare wheel and then there's also some ductwork I presume it is for the cooling system and the drilled out silver block I don't know exactly what that is so if you guys know please tell me what that is in the comment box below I presume it is something to do with the fuel management system or some sort or something related to cooling I'm not entirely sure looks quite nice inside the trunk and even the underside of the trunk cover you can see all of those details as well it's mainly the reinforcement. Now, let me show you. If you do find this model car, you will see those two stickers. One there, one there. They're both saying the same thing basically said please unscrew the screw before opening the trunk lid so when you have the model car new I think the front bonnet cover it has a plastic strap and the rear there are two screw holding the the rear trunk cover together you have to unscrew both of them in order to lift the rear trunk up so make sure you do that Next, we'll take a look at the cockpit. So let me get my door opening tools. Here we go. So straight away, you can see there are more sponsor logos. in between the door sill to the driver seat and you can see the side window as well the door card is pretty nice you can see those details on the door card as well let me try and find a better angle to show you this door, it doesn't open up too widely. So this is the, the most I could open. So I will have to zoom in to show you the details. So you can see there are two colors. You have got the upper gray panel and the lower black panels. And you can see there are some texture mesh as the side pocket and you have the opening door mechanism as well as a gear shape mechanism I presume you use that to lower your side window now looking at the steering wheel you can see the wheel itself is wrapped with some fabric material 
the center of the steering wheel has the metallic blue color matching the car color the dash as you can see it looks digital and there's also a bunch of buttons by the speedo as well you can see the accelerator brake and clutch pedals all underneath and there's also a silver vent to bring in fresh air there's also a small air vent on the left hand side of the dash as well here in the middle of the cockpit you can see there is the gear shifter and then the driver seat you can see the logo pro drive and another pro drive logo by sparkle on the headrest the seat itself again just like the steering wheel is wrapped in a fabric material and you can see the red sebelt safety harnesses which linked all the way to the rear roll cage and you could also see part of the roll cage in a light blue color that is all the way round from the front windscreen all the way to the rear seat so as you can see the rear seats have been completely stripped out to accommodate the roll cage Now let's take a look at the other side. Just like the left hand side, you can see there are a bunch of sponsor logo and the door card detail. Here on this side, you can see the details a bit better than the other side it's pretty good detailing on the door card and you can see the reflective mirror and the rally style side mirror as well now on the co-pilot side you can see on the flooring there is a small bucket type which has a red fire extinguisher the racing seat itself as you can see is also by pro drive and you also get the pro drive by sparkle logo on the headrest and that's about five point harnesses and it's connected all the way to the rear roll cage here you can see the handbrake as well which is very detailed and here you can see the gear shifter better and on the center console you can see there are a bunch of buttons there's the red kill switch and there's also a couple of air vents and there's more details at the glove box area which I presume there's more command buttons for the co-pilot quite a detailed cockpit I have to say and 
also on top you have the rear view mirror as well and I think there are also a couple of visor and then you can see right up to the top you have the roll cage as well as the the air scope for bringing fresh air from the roof which is this and I'm just trying to show you the the rear area has nothing but the roll cage there's a full roll cage inside the cockpit which is really nice It's a pretty neat model car of the Subaru Impressor. So I hope you guys like this Subaru Impressor Rally Championship Edition. And if you are planning to look for one um, on the internet, then make sure you try to find one that is in good condition by means of there's no scratches or there's no paint chipped and the easiest thing to break is the antenna on the roof I actually have seen one or two of them before and they both have the either the entire antenna is missing or is partially snapped off so make sure if you are keen to add one into your collection, you find one with the full antenna attached to the roof. And also double check that you have the mud flap or the mud guard at four corners. So they should all be there. And the last thing to check are the bonnet locking pins make sure they're both there as well everything else I think they are quite sturdy I don't think they will fall off too easily overall I think this is a really really good model by Ottoart I really like the Super Impressor model. And I think the color is done really, really nicely by AutoArt with the metallic blue and the glittering effect with the bright yellow Subaru livery on the body and the gold color rims. I think it makes the car really really nice I really like the details on the rear windscreen with the heating element and the red safety harnesses really stands out in front of the black racing seats and also the cockpit details are very nice as well especially it has the full roll cage inside the car so i think i have covered everything about this model car i hope you guys like it if you do and if you find this video useful then please give me a like as i mentioned earlier uh, in the video, I do have a second rally car that I will be showing you guys shortly. So make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you don't you won't miss it when I release that video. And yes, some of you might have guessed it is a Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution rally car. 
So if you are keen to see that rally car also by AutoArt, then please make sure you stay tuned. So until then, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Good luck with your model car collections and I will see you guys in my next video. Take care guys. Bye for now.